In this lesson, you will learn readers identify the solution at the end of a story by asking, how was the character's problem solved? Let's review. A solution means how the problem was fixed, how the problem got better. The problem was that the milk spilled. The solution was that we cleaned it up. This week, your shared read story was titled The Art Project. Take a moment to think about the characters in the story. The students in the class had a problem. After reading a story, the first thing you should do is pause and think about the characters and ask yourself, What was the character's problem? In the story of the art project, we know the problem was that the class does not have art supplies. The next step is to ask yourself, how is the character's problem solved? There were steps taken to solve the character's problems in the story. First of all, Pablo suggests reusing paper from the recycling bin. Next, Grace suggests reusing string and old wire coat hangers. Lastly, Mrs. Simon teaches them how to make cranes out of the recycled paper. You can jot your ideas down. It's always good to use some sort of graphic organizer. After you've identified the problem and the steps they took to solve the problem, you have your solution. In the story of the art project, the solution is the class uses recycled materials to make, make a paper crane mobile. So remember, pause after finishing a book or a story. Ask yourself, how is the character's problem solved? And lastly, you can jot your ideas down to help you come up with a solution. In this lesson, you have learned readers identify the solution at the end of a book by asking, how is the main character's problem solved? <laughs>